Hi, I am Winlin, the maintainer of the SRS and Oryx open source community. SRS is the most starred open source streaming server globally and one of the longest maintained and most active open source projects in the audio video field. Since 2013, we have been continuously improving the SRS streaming server. Not only does it support comprehensive features, but we have also developed the Oryx streaming solution, which makes it very convenient for developers to build their own streaming services. I originally planned to attend this conference in person, but due to some scheduling difficulties, I regret that I can only participate by recording a video. If you wish to communicate more, you can find us on Discord. Audio and video are everywhere, not just in familiar areas like online video, online meetings and education, but they can also be combined with AI. We have used Oryx to set up a demo of a voice-driven ChatGPT assistant. You can use your smartphone to scan the QR code on the right with WeChat, open the demo web page in your browser, allow the page to access your microphone, then click the Start Chatting button. Just like WeChat's voice chat, hold down the microphone icon to speak, release to finish, and after a short wait, you will receive a voice reply from the AI assistant. This is an example of AI and audio video integration based on a browser. With the development of AI, audio and video will undoubtedly become the most natural way for humans to interact with AI. Oryx is an open source solution for combining AI and audio video, making it very convenient to build AI enabled streaming services. Do you ever wonder how to quickly set up a live streaming service, convert files or IP cameras into live streams, restream to multiple streaming platforms, or build a voice driven AI assistant? Audio and video capabilities have become widely integrated into various industries including e-commerce live streaming, educational live streaming, online meetings, and interactive entertainment, constantly changing the existing industry landscape. However, building an audio and video platform for any scenario requires dealing with client side to streaming media server, as well as various complex functions such as authentication, recording, forwarding, transcoding, virtual live streaming, protocol conversion, and low latency. This requires a comprehensive and easy to use out of the box solution. If you need to build an online streaming service, you will face several challenges. First, building an online service is a significant challenge for most people. Challenges of building an online service include HTTPS setup, authentication, and media service configuration. Second, Open source solutions are generally atomic tools and are quite scattered. Developers need to combine multiple basic open source projects to build services according to their specific application scenarios. Additionally, there are budget constraints for businesses. If using media cloud services, various audio and video capabilities are required, such as live streaming, recording, restreaming, and transcoding. Each cloud product is billed separately, making the costs difficult to bear. Oryx is designed to address these issues. Oryx is a ready-to-use audio and video solution with an all-in-one design, allowing developers familiar with the business to quickly add audio and video capabilities to their existing services. Let me briefly introduce the differences between SRS and Oryx. In the open source streaming server space, SRS is the most starred project, continuously updated and growing. Over 11 years, SRS has developed robust live streaming and WebRTC server capabilities, supporting protocols like RTMP, HLS, HTTP, FLV, SRT, WebRTC, Dash, and features such as API, Exporter, HEVC, DVR, Forward, and Cluster. Oryx is an open source audio video solution ready to use, enabling one click setup for audio video services. It not only includes SRS streaming server capabilities, but also supports business authentication, audio video rooms, forwarding to live platforms, virtual live streaming, camera live streaming, AI subtitles, and video translation.
Oryx integrates open AI services, adding AI capabilities to streaming media, such as automatic live subtitles, live room AI assistance, and video dubbing. Previously named SRS Stack, Oryx was renamed for easier AI assistant differentiation. Community documentation, issues, and discussions are used to train the AI assistant. The website's AI assistant can accurately answer general questions. Training materials for the AI must be optimized, such as being in English, having distinct product names, and comprehensive documentation. We believe that audio and video are very natural ways for humans to communicate with AI. Everyone can quickly build their own audio and video AI tools to realize their ideas, improve efficiency, and explore new application scenarios. This is a very important capability in the AI era. For most users, building a streaming service, what is the hardest part? Most users are stuck on installation and setup. Oryx offers one-click installation and graphical setup for Docker, Helm, DigitalOcean, Scripps, and AA Panel. It supports one-click HTTPS setup and one-click low-latency HLS activation, allowing you to build a streaming service without writing any code. Regardless of which cloud service provider you commonly use or which method you are familiar with for building cloud services, Oryx can generally provide you with a familiar installation and setup method. Our target users are not just developers, but also general users who do not understand streaming media and backend services. Our user base includes content creators, TV station editors, and users from non-streaming media industries. What is the biggest challenge in operating a streaming service? I believe it is the constantly evolving features and technologies. 20 years ago, the streaming industry was dominated by Apple and Adobe Flash and only needed to support RTMP and HLS. Over the years, SRT has become a strong competitor to RTMP. WebRTC WIP is gradually entering the low latency live streaming field and RTMP recently had a significant update. In the video encoding field, HEVC is widely used and AV1 is gradually emerging. In the audio encoding field, AAC remains the most widely used. MP3 is used less frequently, but still has many applications and Opus is gradually gaining prominence. Oryx offers comprehensive streaming features such as live rooms, multi-protocol streaming and pulling services, multi-platform rebroadcasting, virtual live streaming, camera live streaming, transcoding, recording, AI assistance, video dubbing, live AI subtitles, and live stream OCR. Streaming technology will continue to evolve and update. Oryx and SRS are constantly updating, providing support for almost the most commonly used streaming protocols and codecs. This means you don't have to worry about your business falling behind the latest technological developments and you don't need to overhaul your previous systems to support new technologies. Open source is a very crucial feature. Only open source communities and projects can continuously update and evolve over decades. Commercial products typically cannot sustain such a long life cycle. The essence of the open source community is voluntary work. We build the software and systems we use ourselves. SRS and Oryx have always used the most permissive license, which is the MIT license, because we believe that basic streaming services are public goods provided for everyone and should not have any commercial restrictions. Over the past 10 years, SRS has been growing steadily. Currently, it has garnered 24.8K stars on GitHub, forming a stable, small, open source community. Well, HTTPS is often overlooked. Software developers find it simple, but users usually struggle with setup, especially when combining HTTPS API and media transmission for audio video. Browser security for audio video AI or WIP streaming and microphone access, HTTPS is mandatory. Online production integration also requires HTTPS. For most users, especially with WIP streaming, Setting up HTTPS is very challenging. 
certificate renewal and updates are also troublesome. Oryx supports one-click HTTPS, just set the domain, and it automatically handles certificate application and updates, applying to all Oryx features. Oryx supports HTTPS in two simple steps. First, set up the DNS to Oryx's IP, then enter the domain in Oryx and submit. The first and most common scenario is a private live room. Watching movies online with a few friends, live streaming school events only for parents, high definition product demonstrations for a small number of clients cannot be done using public live streaming platforms and require some privacy protection. Online meeting software such as Zoom and Google Meet often do not meet the requirements due to insufficient clarity and the inconvenience of using OBS integration. The second important scenario is low latency remote broadcasting. With the improvement of network infrastructure, broadcasting content production can be done remotely. Using multiple camera positions on site, the SRT low latency HD protocol streams to SRS, allowing remote switching and live content production. In addition to the SRT protocol, the WebRTC protocol can also be used, and if the network is reliable, the RTMP protocol can be used as well. Comprehensive support for these protocols allows adaptation to more broadcasting terminals, whether traditional equipment or smartphones, both of which can serve as content sources for broadcasting. There is an interesting scenario where video files or IP camera content are converted to live streams, known as virtual live streaming. In e-commerce or educational live streaming, pre-recorded video files can be converted to live streams, significantly reducing the pressure during live broadcasts. IP camera streams can also be converted to live streams. Oryx will convert the IP camera stream into a standard live stream, making it easier to broadcast on live streaming platforms. Multi-platform live streaming is a crucial capability, allowing the expansion of the audience across multiple platforms or different live streaming accounts and channels simultaneously. OBS supports direct streaming to multiple platforms, but this significantly increases the upstream bandwidth. In situations where upstream bandwidth is limited, it can cause the live stream to lag. Oryx duplicates the stream on the server side eliminating the need for additional upstream bandwidth. It also allows for rebroadcasting across multiple countries and regions using the SRT protocol. Let's talk about transcription. In live streaming, YouTube captions are less accurate than OpenAI Whisper. Many platforms and custom-built ones need their own subtitle solutions. Hard of hearing and non-native speakers have a strong need for subtitles, such as language learners using movie subtitles. They need subtitles for watching live streams and conferences. If language skills are weak, translation may be needed, which Oryx's live AI assistant supports. Oryx integrates with OpenAI Whisper, making it easy to use. It supports overlaying subtitles on videos, playable on any device without relying on the player. It also supports HLS WebVTT subtitles, requiring player support. Another similar use scenario is live translation. Audio in live streams can be converted to text via ASR and sent to OpenAI for processing, such as translation into multiple languages. This enables automatic subtitles and translation, as well as multilingual simultaneous translation. Oryx's ASR delay is three seconds, which is nearly real time in practice. The translation delay is 10 seconds, but using faster LLM models and services can reduce this delay. Oryx uses a standalone web page for ASR, capable of handling streams from any platform and format, and can also directly recognize microphone audio. The processed results can be displayed on a standalone web page or integrated into OBS and embedded into the media stream. In the image, during the third test flight live stream of Starship, I used Oryx to translate the live stream and added bilingual subtitles. 
Oryx's subtitle accuracy is higher than YouTube's and it allows flexible settings for the number of subtitles displayed, greatly improving language comprehension during the live stream. This is a milestone for Oryx, marking its third year. In addition to diverse audio and video application scenarios like forwarding, recording, transcoding, camera, virtual live, live room, etc., it also supports various AI application scenarios such as AI Assistant, Dubbing, OCR, Transcript, etc. As OpenAI continues to develop, Oryx will also update and follow new AI and audio video application scenarios. Although Oryx supports many features, there are still a lot of new functionalities in the planning stages. We are a newly initiated open source project. We are a non-profit open source community and welcome your participation. You can also donate to us through Open Collective. Your involvement and support are very important to us. I am pleased to share the SRS and Oryx open source projects with everyone. If you need further discussion, you can contact us via Discord. Looking forward to meeting everyone again next time.